welcome. I'm back in the studio with Major Craig Rasley, a regional desk officer. Major Rasley, welcome and thank you for your participation in this testimonial video. Um, could you please tell us the number of years you've been a foreign area officer and the region or countries you've been assigned? Sure. So I started training about three years ago and I arrived at my current assignment about six months ago. Can you briefly describe some of your job duties as a regional desk officer? As a regional desk officer, I direct USAFIAF Africa military to military activities for countries within my portfolio. Additionally, I serve as the headquarters point of contact for facilitating discussions between the U.S. government and key U.S. Embassy country team members to include the Defense Attaché, Air Attaché, Office of Defense Cooperation, and Bilateral Affairs Officers. Also, I direct and prepare and inform visiting officials, including general officers, flag officers, distinguished visitors, and congressional delegations on USAFIAF Africa interests and equities. Sir, as a FAO desk officer, what would you say you spend the majority of your time on? This one really depends on the region assigned and the needs of the moment. I recently took over for three countries within Africa's Lake Chad region but it was tasked as the project officer to coordinate and set up the Association of African Air Forces working group that was held in Dakar, Senegal. With over 23 partner nations and roughly 50 personnel participating, this was a full-time job and was outside my country portfolio. Additionally, there are always coordination meetings, VTCs, and secret VTCs to attend and provide my input as the desk officer. Oftentimes, I'm connecting the dots and ensuring that the various stakeholders are talking to each other. Finally, working on headquarters staff means there's always a TMT tasker to answer, travel vouchers to file, and other administrative work to complete. What would you say is the most challenging aspect of your job? I think being pulled in 30 different directions. I'm a desk officer, project officer, and country expert and staff officer. I have many people that need my input and coordination, and I work with various organizations, both within USAFIAF Africa and also outside the MAGCOM to include AFRICOM, Headquarters Air Force, the Service Components, Department of State, and Host Nation Air Forces. Was there any education or training you received that helped you most as a regional desk officer? Without a doubt, my time at the Naval Postgraduate School. The professors there are well informed on African political economy and the various issues that our African partners face. Because the continent is so vast, it would be impossible to learn everything there is about the history, government, politics, and economics of every country. MPS teaches you how to think about these issues with a critical mind. This has prepared me for the various tasks I face as regional desk officer. What education or training did we miss in FAO development education and what do you wish you knew more about before sitting in your current position? The budget environment is limited and as such I wouldn't advocate for extending an already long timeline which for me was about two and a half years. However, I would strongly reconsider sending every Africa FAO to learn French. Some of my colleagues have gone on to work at embassies in non-French speaking countries. Theoretically, they should be plug and play as an Air Force Africa FAO, ready to work in any of the various countries that do speak French. However, if you know an officer is going to be working in, for example, Botswana, it may be better to invest in them studying a local language. Have you made time for language sustainment? And if so, how have you balanced work, personal time, and language requirements? Unfortunately, not that much time. Your mileage may vary, but in my experience, maintaining language proficiency requires more than just dedication. It requires you to use it every day. This can be challenging once you leave DLI and begin your time at MPS or a military staff. Is there any advice you would give to FAOs in training? Put in work early on, especially during the first few months at DLI. This is a critical window for language acquisition that really requires you to dedicate yourself if you want to learn a new language. Keep your eye on the end game and remember that you will be representing the Air Force and our nation when you eventually arrive in country. The training is long, but it is well worth it. Great. Thank you very much, Major Razley, for your input.